Girafferig is a Pokemon that has really risen on my list of favorites over the last year. I love that its name's a palindrome, spelt the same way frontwards and backwards, and I think it makes more sense when you look at its beta sprite from where it was essentially a mirrored version front and back. I love this design a lot, and I wish they would have kept it. Also in the beta, there was a pre-evolution whose English name would have translated to twins, and I think it would have added some nice lore to the Pokemon. But outside of that, this Pokemon is finally getting some love with a new evolution in Scarlet and Violet called Farigaraf, and I think that's pretty cool and well deserved. If we look at the stats, 390 is respectable for a base stat total. 85 speed is very serviceable for a solo run, and you'll pretty much outspeed everything. 80 attack is solid as well, and 90 in special means that it's just really good around the board, so I had some high hopes for this run after doing some testing. And guys, if you look over, by popular demand, I have added power, accuracy, and PP into my learn set segment after testing it on some streams so that one guy can stop hounding me, but I think it does look pretty clean, and I do like it. And guys, this is a live commentary video. I had to do some voiceover work for this intro because the audio messed up a little bit, but this is my third try recording, so we're gonna get it done now. And quickly before I get into anything, let me quickly say that likes and comments help channels grow the most, so if you're someone new or a returning subscriber like Brandon Williams, just let me know how you think this run will go, or if you just don't know what to say, just tell me if you like Giraffe Rig personally, or you can just scroll down and type in Necky Boy like a long neck giraffe because I refuse to mention chain shops from Mario because everyone else does that. You can also subscribe if you enjoy the content and want to see even more solo runs. And even if after all that you want to support me further, consider becoming a channel member and that would be pretty cool. So we're gonna hop into it. I am on a mission today guys. My mission today is to not babble on and just talk forever on these live commentaries. I would love to have a live commentary video that doesn't go on for an hour and a half just because I keep talking about random stuff. So I'm making a conscious effort today. Uh, the name of the run is going to be Twins. Uh, it's that translated version of the pre-evolution Pokemon I just mentioned. Uh, I don't know if it's spelled with a Z, but you know, if you put a slap a Z on anything, it's a lot cooler. Uh, I don't... <laughs> So I had to restart one run because I, I had to use Game Shark codes to get perfect DVs. I don't know if they work this time. And look at that, I moved Confusion to the first slot. So that one guy who keeps commenting that, that even though I do it all the time now, he can s s just shut up about it. But yeah, I had to restart a run because of perfect DVs. Uh, I had to restart a run because I had a problem with the save state. So this run has already been kind of cursed. And you would think with a Pokemon that has, you know, a stabbed psychic move to start off with, that you could just go straight to Brock. But that's really not the case. My god, this is the fifth encounter I've already gotten. But going to Brock at level 6, like, I just felt really squishy. Uh, I felt like I was getting hit super hard. So we are going to have to do some extra battles first. And I have tested this run. Maybe it was just because I didn't have perfect DVs. Uh, I don't even know if I got perfect DVs now. It's hard to tell. Uh, we're kind of in no man's land. We're kind of in uncharted territory with these Sanqui runs because uh, they're a bit of an enigma. I think I probably should have tried to do the um, the optional rival there, but you know, it's too late now. We're gonna take out these bug catchers and then we're gonna go to Brock. Maybe I did that cool little editing intro. I don't know. But I made the same exact mistake last time, guys. I went into Brock missing a couple of HP. But I saw I'm going to growl first. It doesn't really seem to have helped. How about we just... I'm, I'm getting kind of low, and it's kind of a... Uh... Oh, we crit. Okay, we got this. Perfect. The growl really saved the day there, because I was struggling with this fight. Like I said, I had to get some extra levels, uh, but we got past it on the first attempt. And I don't think I mentioned this, but uh, when Giraffe Rig came out, Normal Psychic was a very unique typing. And to this day, you can correct me if I'm wrong, which I never am, so don't even bother. Uh, Normal Psychic is used for Meloetta. I do, did I already buy potions? I don't know. We'll buy some more. Uh, but Meloetta is about the only other normal psychic, and that's a, uh, uh, mythical. 
So, very unique topic. It's very good, especially by Gen 1 standards. It's extremely good. It has absolutely no weaknesses. It is about as elite of a topping as you can get. It might be the best topping that's available in Gen 1. Uh, if anything else had this topping, it would just dominate. And I think we're going to see Giraffe Rig uh, dominate because we have been on the last couple of Sanqui runs, they've been kind of a struggle. Uh, they haven't been that great. They've had, they've been close. Like if you could tweak like one thing about these runs, um, they would probably be pretty good runs. But I think Giraffe Rig does have what it takes if I play it correctly. And hopefully in this live little setting here, I can get that done for you guys. I'm always learning different things when I do my research for these runs, and uh, something I didn't know, maybe you guys knew, uh, but Tackle in Gen 6 was buffed up to 50 base power, uh, as well as having its accuracy increased to 100. That's just something I never knew. Uh, I am going to catch this little Geo dude though. I don't want normally I use save states. I don't want to use save states because I lost an entire run because it glitched out and it like deleted my save, so I don't want to do that. But yeah, Tackle was buffed, uh, I think I knew about Thunderbolt being nerfed a little bit, but I do have that accurately represent, uh, represented on the side. So another thing I'd like to ask you guys real quick, and some guy was like, God, last time on one of my videos, some guy was bitching so hard that I was asking you guys for uh, your input on stuff. Um, and I don't want to get too lewd, I already cussed, I didn't mean to cuss. Uh, but anyway, uh, would you guys like it if I put the stabbed calculations in the move set over there so like for example you know 50 percent extra power and tackle would be 75 power um and i just put like an asterisk next to it or something so would that be feasible or should i just keep it as is and one thing i love about these sanqui runs especially since we've been doing eh like subpar runs is that you get to see things like this super nerd really break out now this voltorb is a menace Oh my god, two sonic booms. I don't think it'll matter. Uh, we do learn agility at level 14, though. Um, it's not the best badge boosting move, and I think I've said that before, but it is a badge boosting move nonetheless, and it will be helpful. Even though there are some little problems that make it really not matter too much, but agility, you know, pretty good. Not complaining about it. Alright, time for rival number three. And at level 14, I do dick for damage. No sand attack. God, that hurt. I think we're good though. Or maybe we're not good. So, a problem that's going to come up that I mentioned in the Sable I run is that there's so many things that have bot and crunch. Does this Squirtle have bot? Oh my goodness, it has bot. God help us all. So that's one of these little problems here is that Giraffe Rig does really good, but it'll get to the end of a ton of different fights. Oh, we start off with a sand attack. Two sand attacks. Not looking good for old buddy here. But yeah, we get to the end of the fights, we're doing really good, and there's so many Pokemon that just have Bot or Crunch, and it just wrecks. Really. It just absolutely destroys Giraffe Rig. Oh, no, not like this. I take pretty detailed notes when I do runs, and I'm very shocked that I didn't have anything written down for this. Like, is it possible for me to take on Misty first? Should I have tried that? Probably not. Right there, that was pretty much a perfect uh, Pidgeotto attempt. If I could be at like this health rank, bot, of course. Look at this Rotata critting with a bot, my gosh. And it crit. <laughs> we don't stand a chance. I'm getting frustrated because we're on three resets already. I did forget to battle an extra trainer that I was doing in practice. Uh, would that get us to level 15? Would that make the fight better? I don't know. <laughs> Why is the Pidgeotto doing so much damage to us? <laughs> What's going on here? Hey! It's bot, guys. This doesn't look good. Don't give up on Giraffe Rig yet, guys. Don't focus on the resets. It's fine. This is fine, okay? Stick with me. I think the most frustrating thing about sitting here and getting soloed by the Pidgeotto real quick uh, is the fact that 
I didn't have any resets here on the run that got ruined that I already recorded. So when you go back to like just pick up some extra footage or whatever, you're like, hey, I got to do this run again. Now it's extremely difficult. Why couldn't you have just hit yourself? Now we're on five resets. Now everybody thinks I'm bad. I'm stubborn, guys. We'll go to 800 resets if I have to. Why don't we do... Pe okay. I'm slower, so the agility is essentially free right there. Why is the Pidgeotto soloing me? Soloing me? I can't even talk. <laughs> Clue me in here. Why? Is why? We cannot survive a bot. I used the wrong move. But it doesn't matter. Guys, oh my god, only five resets. We're hashtag blessed today. Because we only have five resets. Now that was a frustrating fight. Oh man. And there's lots of more rival fights to come. It's bot, guys. That's the, the true thing. I have bot written down in my notes like five times. And my notes aren't that long. There was only a few fights that I needed to kind of clean up when I did the rerun. Now, thank God you get access to a very early Psybeam at level 19. Uh, it helps out a lot, because even just Confusion's really strong. Uh, although it could knock out a Rattata, you just have to believe me. Please believe me, guys. But getting access to that early Psybeam uh, feels pretty good. And it's going to give us a pretty good little you know, stab Psybeam. going to give us a pretty good boost in power. And now we can just take a look at Misty real quick. Uh... Let's just hope that Sanqui Starmie that just has Hydro Pump for some godforsaken reason doesn't hit us, or even worse, doesn't crit us. In the moment of truth, please don't do it. Water Gun, I'll take that. I went for Side Beam, that's a mistake. It crit. It crit. Back to back crits! Ooh, I love a back to back crit. It feels so good. So we got extremely fortunate with Misty's move selection there, but we couldn't capitalize. Bubble Beam. Don't crit. Please don't crit. You... Oh my god. Woo, guys. Seven resets already? I promise you guys that I'm good at Pokemon Red and Blue. I played a lot. I... This isn't the best showing. It's really late. It's past my bedtime. Uh, what other excuses can I come up with to make, like, you know... Uh, my arm's broke, uh, my dad left me, I'm going for side beam because I'm trying to make up some funny story for the stream and it's not matter- <laughs> Woo! Okay, the star, you crit me. It's always a good start. Oh my Jesus. <laughs> oh, oh my Lord Jesus up in heaven. Bless this giraffe rig, he's having a really hard time today. We're on reset number nine, and it's only been... I've only been recording for like 20 minutes. Man, I did not take good notes today, guys. We're already failing. The good news is that after we make it past this section, there shouldn't be too bad. I'm just going to set up fully, full agilities on the star menu. And that means Stomp's going to hit extra hard... And we're just going to win with back-to-back -back crits. Obviously, we'll get back-to-back -back crits when we don't need them. Oof, we have a lot of resets. I'm a little bit turned off by that, not going to lie. NGL to you guys. Uh, I don't like that, but Sanqui runs I'm a little bit more casual with. I've already done a practice run and a pretty deep run practicing other stuff, so... I don't want to keep playing Giraffe Rig over and over. We kind of just got to let the chips fall where they lay on these live commentaries, I guess. And I kind of like that style, to be honest with you guys. Like, um, I'm going to give this a shot. And once again, like, feel free to let me know what you guys think about this. Uh, it would probably help out my personal workload if I did the Sanqui runs live like this. And I think it could be entertaining, depending on how much I talk. Like, I'm talking a lot right now. Um, so hopefully, like, if I could if I could get my live commentaries down to, like, 35 to 45 minutes, I'd be really happy with that. But let's take a look at this. Uh, let's think, let's pray to God that Sidebeam one-shots these Pidgeys. Whew, thank God. This is the most annoying trainer when you can't one-shot the Pidgeys. So, that's good. But anyway... 
I'm thinking about doing the Sanqui ROMs, uh, live commentary uh, every other week like I've been doing them. Uh, and it would help out my workload personally. So if you guys have an objection to that, you like the more buttoned down, longer format, more condensed, uh, scripted videos, let me know. But I'll probably at least do, for the end of the year, I'll probably be doing live commentary Sanqui runs. I am going to call an audible here. I'm only buying four repels. It's something that I've been doing uh, for some other runs, like uh, Gengar, Haunter. And I think maybe like putting some emphasis off of... Um, is, first of all, it's more efficient to have super repels anyway. So that's the minimum amount of repels that you really need. And it helps you get access to socket quicker, and it puts less emphasis on picking up high money items and all that kind of stuff. So, I think it's really helping me save some time. We'll find out in this run. Uh, but we do get access to Body Slam. It needs no introduction. It's also a Stabbed Body Slam. So you got something here that has Stabbed Body Slam and a Stabbed Psychic. So, we'll get rid of Stomp because it's just it's superior in every way. That's pretty good though. Stab Body Slam and a Stab Psychic. Like this is the only time you'll ever see it here, folks. Alright, it's time for rival number three. And it's more of the same, but Side Beam does help out a lot here. We can just get rid of that Pidgeotto. Just go ahead and get your little stupid shit ass out of here. Uh, pretty good. Body Slam also hitting like a truck. Ooh, bite hurts. Look at that. Just look at that damage. That's the only damage we took. It was one bite and it did a lot. I don't like it, guys. There's so much bite going on here that uh, it really makes Psychic not that safe in these Sanqui ROMs. And that's probably a good thing. That's why you have the dark typing, essentially. So, can't really complain as much Psychic problems as we, we've had over our runs. But, man, when you're actually playing a Psychic type, you notice you're thinking... Does everything have bite and crunch except for Umbreon, the one thing that really needs it? The one bad thing about Sanqui ROMs is that I do have to manually do the trash can puzzle. I'm hesitant to do save states because I messed up last time, but it, it is what it is. I'll keep resetting until we get it. There we go. We got it on just the third try, I think. Not too bad, I am pretty good at the puzzle, you know, not to toot my own horn, but toot toot, you know. Oof. Screech to start off, no sonic boom, that's pretty good. Can this body slam one shot the Pikachu? Yes it can. Uh, I didn't heal, why didn't I heal? It doesn't matter, that's why. Because I crit. That's pretty good. Now Thunderbolt is just like the, the ghastly line, this is our one big coverage move. Actually, we get a few with Draffer Rig, so I can't lie. Uh, we will go ahead and go over Confusion. Because Thunderbolt just helps out. A Thunderbolt's pretty good for Rock Tunnel. I do think it's very safe to say that Rock Tunnel will not be an issue. Uh, so I think we could probably skip over it and pick back up Enceladon. Because that's we're going to have to do stuff like that if I want these videos to be shorter. I know you guys just really want to sit here and chat with me for uh, a three hour video, but you know, I just can't. Alright, we're picking back up into Celadon, and I do think that we are going to talk about, or we're going to do the strategy that I just mentioned real briefly, and that is a very, very early mark by to go ahead and pick up Psychic, because it's your strongest move if you think about it, and uh, getting it now, just go ahead and getting the one shop visit out of the way, just seems like it could be beneficial. Look at this. All you can say is that person's a bitch. They just get in your way. Like, why is their pathing that way? Like, what's wrong with people? Just because of how the, um, the game shark codes work, uh, I can buy one calcium and that's pretty much it. And I'll be buying two proteins. And those are just going to be our little supplemental things to help us out on this run. That's our vitamins. And we are not going to be visiting the Celadon Mart anymore. And we'll see if rushing Psychic pays off. It's one of those little optimizations I made for my practice runs. I do think, because it, it, like I said, in the Gengar and the Haunter run, it really helped out. Like, it was really like a big boom. Maybe we should have used Psy Beam on Erica's gym first. Uh, but I'm just, I'm still, I'm not sure about that. 
uh, honestly. I do think I'll go ahead and pick up the the couple of PP ups that are just right here in the area uh, and use those on Psychic because having 14 uses just it gives you a little bit more flexibility and you don't have to manage micromanage your PP as much. And I'm pretty sure nobody likes to micromanage their PP. That didn't one shot. Go, uh, go. Okay, don't say it. As I'm in here doing this right now, I realize that I have made a mistake. Uh, I am actually going to go ahead and just dig out. Because I was not supposed to be here right now. Uh, there was problems with the Sanquee run. And at this point, it doesn't matter. I already have nine resets. I don't know why I would care so much to uh, dig out and waste a little bit of time. But honestly, it's Kangaskhan and Bot. Now, I do want to battle... We only got 10 uses of Psychic, and I'm coming here at a weird order. I'm kind of just doing some stuff on the fly. I mean, it's a live run. Like, there's not much you can do. I'm going to battle these first two trainers, and then we'll just kind of take a little peek at uh, Erica. They should be easy one-shots, so... Shouldn't miss too much. No. Now, I guess the big issue here is, like, <laughs> can I one-shot with Psychic, and will Razor Leaf open my butthole up? And the answer looks like we're good. Tangalus, just stop. Tangela always needs to stop. Tangela is like, Tangela needs some help. I don't want to do the run. You can comment down below Tangela if you want me to suffer next year, but I really don't want to do the run, but we're going to have to eventually. It's just going to be so bad. It's not fair how bad it's going to be. So I'm hoping that little pit stop didn't waste too much time because, God, Giovanni was very oppressive, to say the least, in my practice runs. It's bot, guys. Like, I don't know how... That's like the key word of the day. Like, maybe it's ironic because Giraffe Rig's tail is like a little chomper that just bites. But, man, today we're just getting bitten a lot. And it's going to be bad. And I'm trying to mitigate those losses. But it's not helping. I already have nine resets. It's frustrating. All right, let's see if these adjustments help me out any. Level 31's not too bad. One shot, one shot, we already know, but it's this Kangaskhan. I swear to God, Sanquee Kangaskhan's not quite as good. Oh, it's Guard Spec. Guard Spec, brought to you by Silphco. First try, that's what I like to see. I love it when you uh, stand right here, because you walk down and it's like, Hey, I laid a little Silph Scope egg. Anybody else feel that way? Because... I think about it a lot. It lives rent-free in my head too many times. Alright, I'm going to take a fly over to Lavender Town. We're going to clear out the tower. It's not going to be anything of note uh, unless I get bit, and you'll know it. We'll cut back to me getting mad at getting bit if that's the case, but we're going to skip over the tower today. little trick here. I've mentioned it a good bit, but use the repel right here so that you don't have to open up the menu twice. I feel like it's a broken record. I feel like we all learned that from the Parasec race, everybody that was in it, but... You know, and from there, we are headed down to the Safari Zone. We're going to get the final HMs of the run, and I'm sure you guys are tired of hearing that, and there's no need for me to show me getting the final HMs of the run. I'll probably get a protein, though, so bank on that. Get a little protein, pop a little vitamin. And I think next up on the agenda will be Koga. Uh, it should be that way, right? Uh, let me look over my notes. Uh, what do you know? I don't mention it, so... Hopefully we're not too low. I don't even remember what Koga's levels are in this game. I'm too tired right now, to be honest with you guys. I'm too tired. Somebody slap me and wake me up. I'll be waiting. Let's not bother with healing. What's the point after all? Uh, I don't know. So I think we can... Yeah, level 37. We're not too far off. It'll probably be a two-shot for Muck and Weezing. Uh, self-destruct wouldn't feel great. Hopefully we don't see that. Or explosion. Don't Sanqui Roms have explo- uh, Was that a crit or not? I'm losing my- I sound like Porky Pig. Bleep, bleep, bleep. Was that an explosion, folks? Speed badge boost. Always good. Uh, and now I guess we have to- We could do Blaine, but there's a couple of reasons why I don't want to do Blaine right now. I guess we have no choice but to do rival number five and just do Silph in general. Uh, but we can learn Earthquake, guys. Pretty big coverage move to get. Not as not as useful when you're a Psychic type because Psychic and Earthquake kind of provides that same Agatha coverage. So it's not as needed. 
but there's some annoying Pokemon because you got to think about how many Pokemon have bot and stuff like that nowadays uh, in these ROMs and Earthquake would help out throughout the whole game but unfortunately I just can't justify hanging on to it. We'll see how it goes. I don't want to babble. We're babbling. I should just call this video the constant struggle to find the balance between a watchable video and then me just talking some bullshit for an hour. I'm hoping it's not leaning towards the latter, but no room for items. Cool. Rival number five. Am I ready for this? Probably not, but I don't have any notes written down, so it must have been very easy in practice. Okay, one shot. Hmm, not a one shot, but no bite. We didn't get bit. Always a plus. Uh, it's using confusion against me, so that's good. One shot, perfect. Wait, what am I missing here? Why is this... Oh my god, they did so much damage. That was very easy. That was like... Strangely easy. Alright guys, you know the drill. Skipping over Giovanni number two, we'll be looking ahead after that, but let's take a look at this satisfying one shot with Psychic. Wow. Oh no, are we gonna die? I got a little I got a little cocky. And we're out of oh no. I got a reset because we're out of we, we can't hurt it. Let's go out with honor. Die like a man. Oh, guard spec. Guard spec. Brought to you by Silco. I've been thinking about doing a jingle. Maybe I've already done it. I don't think I have, but uh, I've been planning. We'll talk. Well, I'm going to die anyway. Might as well talk about it. Uh, like a little commercial for guard spec, or at least like a little jingle. Uh, just imagine. Let me give you. Let me. Uh, 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 let me warm up the vocal cords. It would be like, guard spec. Nothing comes closer to home. And then uh, like a little voice would come in and say, Guard spec, brought to you by Silco. Uh, so I don't, does that make any sense? It doesn't, we're dead. This was a self-inflicted reset. I don't like those a whole lot. So I guess I'm just going to show Giovanni number two now. Uh, that just means that I should use, I should probably heal first of all. We died again. That's another, oh my god. What am I doing? I'm sitting here singing Guard Spec, Nothing Comes Closer to Home, talking about a commercial for guards. Get your life together. Have you ever just had to sit down and tell yourself that? Alright, we're hooked up. We're not even thinking about Guard Spec right now. Guard Spec. Ooh, that hurts. Nothing comes closer to home. Guard Spec. Brought to you by Silka. I'll stop. But if you see that in a video soon, that's why. I don't even know if that's funny. What is funny? You know what I mean? Who quantifies what funny is? The world may never know. I am going to go ahead. It seems like I'm just really cruising through the game, to be honest with you guys. Uh, my time doesn't seem like it's anything out of the ordinary, anything spectacular, but uh, I just feel like I'm going through the game pretty quick. Oh, we're fighting Sabrina. I wasn't even going to commentate it, I don't guess. I forgot. So we're sitting here just in complete silence looking at uh, Sabrina. But, I mean, what do you want me to say? It's over with. It's really easy. There's a reason why I came here before Blaine. I'm just, like, zoning out. Have you guys ever been in that situation where you're just, like, sitting there, like, playing a game and either you're just, you're kind of tired but you're focused at the same time? And you got a, like a measly little YouTube channel, and next, next thing you know, you're... Everybody says Tombstone or Brother when you're on the streets, you know what I'm saying? I definitely feel like this one has kind of went off the rails a little bit. I apologize, maybe my future self will edit some of that out, but I doubt it. I doubt it, and I understand, because I am you. And you is me. What am I doing in Mom's house? Alright boys, it's time for that weekly swift brisk swim down to Cinnabar and I think we probably should do some extra stuff today. I'll figure that out in a second. Let me think about it. At level 45, I forgot to teach the move Earthquake. This is where Earthquake really comes into handy. 
because uh, you can see there we can't even one shot that but we will have to temporarily like we see in some runs where we have to kind of move around our move sets a little bit I do need a temporary little boost from Earthquake for about five or six battles and I'm gonna go ahead and learn that here and we're gonna take on all these optional battles Oh, Jesus Christ. I just died to one of Blaine's train. I'm sitting here zoned out, not talking, just trying to make it through to cut down on the recording. And I get killed by a Ponita. Ponita. I get killed by one. Reset number 12, guys. It's kind of embarrassing. All right, here's a little live edition of Tombstoner, brother. Or should I say... <clears throat> Tombstoner, brother. I'm almost out of power points, uh, made it to the end of the gym, uh, I got six left, which you can assume that Growlithe and Ponyta will be one shots, maybe Rapidash too, and then we'll have some left over for Arcanine if it matters. And it doesn't, there we go, Blaine everybody. I do need to be within level 46, um, probably about, I'm level 44 right now. I need to be within 46 before I make it to execute on the next rival fight. Uh, I don't have quite as precise planning on these Sanqui runs, but I'm hoping we're close. It's going to be a close one. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go out and reset and just do the standard thing. I'm going to save it in front of Giovanni, and at the end of the fight I'll look at my experience, and if it's like looking like it's pretty close, I'll keep it. If not, I'm going to reload this save. And then I'm gonna go fight a couple more trainers, and that should get the trick done. Get the get the job done. Get the trick done, guys. Not slash. That mother. That motherfucker has not slash. It didn't matter. I don't think it mattered. It could matter. Oh, guard spec. Guard spec brought to you by Silco. No, we hit. No, no, this is perfect. Actually. No, it's not. I gotta reset here. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I gotta reset because I accidentally didn't learn crunch. This is perfect, though. Because... Why am I not using Earthquake here? Per hey, wait a second. It's not perfect. Do we even need Earthquake here? It doesn't matter. Not Slash is gonna chop my head clean off. It missed. Thank God it missed, or that would have been a that would have been a reset 100% of the time. Are we gonna see another guard spec by Silco? Guard spec. There it was. It was really quick, but guard spec brought to you by. No, don't abandon. It. Stop talking about guard spec. Jesus Christ, get it together. We're gonna replace earthquake with crunch. Now, Dark is a special move type in Gen 1, so that means that it utilizes our pretty high special, and it gives us coverage for other Psychic types. Uh, we don't really need it for the Ghost types because we have uh, Psychic since they're uh, part poison. I don't need to tell you guys that. Like Anybody watching this deep into the video and listening to my bullshit knows that stuff already, so I gotta stop explaining stuff to you like your little kids. You guys are grown up. Pretty soon you'll be driving. You just grow up so fast, I can't help it. Uh, I just leveled up. I'm gonna say that I need to wait. I would like to level up like Right there. Crunch. Look at this Growlithe with Crunch. We got a Crunch of our own. And I'm not talking about Nestle. We have Crunch for the Alakazam. It's not a one-shot there, sadly. And that means that this Blastoise is just gonna have Bot. We hurt ourselves in confusion. And then we got Bit. It's so perfect. Magnifique. What a virtuoso performance right there. Maybe... What do I got written down here? It just says Crunch helps out a lot on the last rival fight. That's my only note. Does it really help me out? Because this Growlithe is beating my ass. Oh, he used a potion. We got lucky. Come on. 
we don't one shot but the reflect is actually kind of perfect there and we're within range where we can survive a oh we just crit never mind doing pretty good so if i go to save it right now we're at 229 um depending on if we have to grind anymore which i hope we don't looking like a easily possible 240 time which is pretty respectable like if something gets two hours and 40 minutes it's pretty good all right bare minimum in victory road no need to do anything extra i'm hoping that we're good if not it might be a long arduous journey ahead but honestly i'm ready for it i'm always ready for the struggle bus guys i don't think that's going to be the case today though i do have 11 rare candies just for the sake of maybe keeping a badge boost at the end, even though I don't know if that's possible. Uh, I will be using all but, let's just say two. That sounds better. That gets us up to level 56, and now we can begin work on Lorla. And we pretty much have Thunderbolt for the occasion here. Uh, I, there's no doubt what I'm going to do. I think the Jinx might get a Body Slam. Uh, we'll get a Body Slam, there's no doubt about it. Hopefully it's a one-shot. No, it's Crunch, even better. Well, not better, because Jinx has high special. But, Sugar to Potion, really the best case scenario. Sugar to Potion, best case scenario. Very easy one-shot. I don't even need to save it. Let's just go up to Bruno and just... <sighs> it's Bruno, guys. What is there really to say? Even in my half-asleep doing a live solo run commentary, I just can't help but think to myself, what do you say about Bruno? Like, unless it's like the Dialga video where he's actually tough. Like, who cares? Who cares about Bruno? Agatha is next, and I'm thinking that... Yeah, we could probably just go straight psychic here and just hold down the button and not even worry about it. Looking that way, it seems that way. We got all the one shots now for the final Gengar. Oh my god, it used Shadow Ball and it missed. Probably thank god for that, right? Even though Ghost is physical type, I think it still would have hurt. At this range, with 90 base special vitamins and stuff like that there's no way this isn't a one shot yes now what was I doing oh no I'm not one shotting please god no thunder wave okay no thunder wave actually was that a crunch or a bot it doesn't matter either way please Please. Please, God. Alright, so... That's guaranteed. We're good. I'm just not good when it comes to... To these. I think I need some badge boost. Thunder wave. I might as well reset right now, huh? Might as well reset right now with this crunch. Ouch. Unless... Nope. Okay, I got a plan. I don't want to use the rare candies. I, I refuse. I need them. I don't need them, need them, but, you know, kinda. Gyarados, let's just use one agility. We got an Alir. Oh my god, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna reset. Hard reset. Okay. No, it doesn't count, because I realized a mistake before the battle was over. We level up after the Gyarados, I do believe. I should probably have checked that or paid attention, but I didn't. And it is what it is. We're in the situation we are. Okay, we level up. One agility. Don't thunder wave me. Missed the slam. Does psychic one shot now? <sighs> no, it doesn't. Okay, two agilities. It's a one shot. Probably a range. Yes, definitely a range. But, with two agilities, we now outspeed that, we can avoid the crunch, and now all we have to do is survive. Crit, that's a great way to start. There we go, just the perfect battle, actually. So now, with all this planning, even though we have 15 resets and the run hasn't gone quite as planned, 
Um, I am able to get up to two level or one level higher than I was on my uh, other attempt, my full attempt. So I'm hoping that one little bitty tiny extra level and the extra couple of proteins I picked up helped me out. So I'm too scared to set up. Am I though? Yes, I am. Get it out of there. Crunch it. What did it do? Sometimes the, the stuff goes by too quick and I can't tell. Let's set up some agilities. Bulldoze? I don't like you. Oh my god, I don't like you, Rhydon. Who would have thought? Oh my god. This run obviously isn't that optimized. And I'm, I've stopped optimizing the Sanqui runs unless I see this crazy potential in them. And right now we do have a we have a ton of resets. Okay, that didn't create. I just felt like it was gonna create. You guys ever feel like that? Like you get a move done on you and you're just like, I can feel that it's about to create and I'm about to get upset. But it didn't happen. Crunch, crit, that's good. Now we don't have to set up on this annoying ride on that has bulldoze. One shot. This is where not having Earthquake hurts because this thing has bite too. And that means that we're going to be at 79 health. Nope, worse than that because we didn't one shot. Oh, we just leveled up. We lost our badge boost. I repeat, we're in danger. We're in danger. Jesus Christ, how? I had 70 health. It was paralyzed, and it was only one little sliver of health away. God, help me. That wasn't a bad try. I think that's the solution to this fight, is to use agility. I think it's pretty fun to do these live commentaries on a non-fully optimized run, so that I can kind of figure out uh, where things go wrong and right. It's kind of fun to do. So I think setting up on the Pidgeot is the way to go. That means outspeed, crunch is a pretty easy one shot. Psychic is a one shot. Not gonna be a one shot on the Arcanine, sadly. Even with the crit. But we're in we're in good health right now. Like our health is in a good range. Maybe this is a range and it can one shot. That'd be very helpful if it was. It's not. Seed bomb. Okay, we're at 77 health. All we need is to survive. Oh, we just crit. Cool. Oh, that's the run. That, uh, Giraffe Rig has done it. So, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I think it's a pretty good run. I don't remember my exact time before I saved it. Um, level 63. 17 resets. 252. You know, I think we could do another run and probably cut off at least a few minutes. But I'm not that interested. Now... Like, for me, it's like the Palkia run, you know? Like, we take a look at the Palkia run, and when I finished it, I was at, like, 2 hours and 30 minutes or something like that. And I was like, okay, I know I can cut off a lot from this, and we can compete with Mewtwo. Now, unless we're cutting off 30 minutes, even then we still wouldn't touch Mewtwo. So, I'm fine with leaving the run as is, and that's pretty much it. Not it for the whole video, mind you. Because I still want to do Mewtwo. Finally, we're here. Less than one second for you guys. But for me, I hate going to, through Cerulean Cave. So I'm just going to go straight Crunch. Uh, not very effective Psychic. And it looks like... Uh, just, just don't use Recover. Barrier. Okay, we got the Battle Crunch. Super effective. Great. Uh, and that's the run guys. We're gonna end here in Mewtwo's cave. We're just gonna stay here forever with our giraffe rig until the end of time uh, But giraffe rig pretty good run very respectable 252 time uh, Can't really hope for much more than that, especially when it's not a legendary uh, It doesn't have it's missing a little bit of coverage and psychic and Sanqui is just not that great It is good. Don't get me wrong really good offensively, but defensively with so many bites and crunches available it's a little bit weaker, uh, but let me know what you guys think about this live commentary. I'm going to have to edit this back. I, I know that I was sleepwalking through half of this, I felt like, so I probably said some really stupid stuff. I said guard spec a lot, uh, but, you know, we're testing out new things. 
Let me know what you think about the layout and just your thoughts in general. And I don't have my list up. Usually I want to thank my members. And I think as of now, so I'm recording these in advance. We have seven members. So special thanks to JWJ, Mutus Dozen, D's Master, TR2G Hipster, Cheesy Speakeasy, Josh Ferment, and Kendall C. We have those ready to go in the live format. And I think on the next... I don't know when this video is coming out. I'll be completely honest with you. At least the next two three or even four Sanqui runs till the end of the year are going to be probably live commentary depending on how much I can stomach this one because I know I babbled but let we'll see but guys that's about all I have for you guys I had fun hopefully you did too and I'll catch you guys on the next video bye